Hi. Did you like that intro? Hello, Panda Nation. How are y'all doing? This is interesting. I hope y'all are doing well. And I want to say that I think every single person uh, who's my friend and who's a member on Facebook and on Panda Nation that... Um, that you are beautiful. Okay? Think I'm full of it? I don't care. I do. And um, I'll leave it at that. Thank you uh, very much for um, your feedback, your experiences that you've been sharing, your suggestions. I really appreciate it. And Today, I am going to build on a suggestion that was given um, um, today, I think. <clears throat> today. Ugh. All right. Um, and it, it regards a very, very happy topic. And that is um, hmm, the... Um, the loneliness that an INFJ feels. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background for me. Um, I mean, experience is the best um, curriculum. Can I say that? I just did. So, all right, let's try to be serious here a little bit. Um, so, you know, when I was 13, my mother died. Uh, she was handicapped. And I was like her nurse. She was like my best friend. And she died. And I was blessed to have her for at least 13 years. And I remember I came home and the house was, you know, she wasn't there. And I beat my fist on the ground and I wailed and I cried and I missed her. And I felt very alone. And, you know, now that I think about it, you know, your parents are the ones that hopefully understand you. And sometimes they don't, you know, and I, I, my father and I have gone through that for sure. But now I think after a few centuries that we're finally, you know, understanding each other and uh, more so than ever. And our relationship is, um, ugh, it's awesome. So, I'm going to be for real, people, okay? So, my father remarried, and um, uh, my relationship with my stepmother at that time was, uh, and now, but more so then, you know, I was a teenager grieving and pain and confused and all this stuff, you know? And um, it just didn't work out. And, you know, as far as the mother-son type dynamic at all. And um, I felt lonely again, you know. And she took the test later on, and she's a ESTJ. Well, I love ESTJs. Yes, I do. I know your ESTJs watching. I love you. Be quiet. All right. I also have had my experiences with... The law, um, I've gotten in trouble a lot. I've been very close to going to uh, the jailhouse for a long time and stuff like that. I think I kind of mentioned that in my childhood, panda childhood. Um, and just those circumstances, you know, have made me feel very alone also at times. Um, the other thing is, you know, being intuitive, being a feeler, being six foot two, 200 plus pounds and being sensitive is not easy. OK, OK, it's not. And. Um, oh, man. This is the best place to do this stuff. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. My neighbor is right there and. It's awesome. So I feel under, misunderstood 
And uh, why? You know, because it talks about, you know, on the other blog, the uh, intuitive being in a sensor world. And I'm like, man, ain't nobody, nobody freaking understanding me. I need like a serious tint on my windows. Sorry. And so I feel misunderstood. And when you feel understood, you feel acknowledged, you feel worth, um, you can trust, you can socialize, you can communicate. Why? Because they understand you. And if you don't, then you're putting your head in the ground like a freaking ostrich. That's how I felt. And then, you know, I had this pain with all of this stuff from my childhood. And even in going into adolescence and, and adult, you know, it just, because I was so smart, you know, I'd make more and more and more bad decisions, you know, because I'm coping, I'm, I'm trying to fix it, I'm trying to medicate, whatever it is, and it, it just compounded pain, grief, heartache, my God, right? And, uh, and so that pain, and then on top of not being understood, you know, and then INFJ and intuitive, whatever, empathic, um, you feel, I felt very lonely. And I know a lot of people listening right now and watching, listening, this is a radio show, watching, um, you feel that way too, regardless of your letters, whatever. And what I have learned is, you know, church most definitely helped out to a degree. Because sometimes I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it, people are too churchy and they don't want to talk about the deep stuff. Mm -mm. And people need to talk about the deep, real stuff. Otherwise, you go crazy. <sighs> nothing ever heals, nothing ever gets better, you know, and stuff like that. And Mm, there is no change for heritage for your kids down the road, you know, society, community, all of this stuff. Um, all right. I was also thinking about as far as, you know, alone, I think about mm, that study, you know, that the Russians did on, on the, uh, orphans, you know, when, mm, they wouldn't touch them. And I think they, they died even. Mm. And, um, we need to be social. We need relationship. And part of needing relationship, especially as an INFJ, I guess, is to be understood. Find other intuitives, preferably NF visionary types. If you know what I mean, INFJ, INFP, ENFP, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, but the NFs, because you're going to complement each other on those, the, on the processing information and on decision-making. Um, and you're going to be understood on some level. You will be. And even on some level, it will make that much more of a difference. And you will not feel alone. You will feel understood. And you will also share a burden. Awesome. I thought I'd never say that, but yeah, you, you will feel because sometimes you can't carry all your crap, man. You can't, you, well, you can for a while. And then what happens? Your, your body breaks down, you know, you get so tense or just depression, oppression, just craziness, right? Oh uh -huh. yeah. So I thought about that. And then I thought about, you know, these experiences that I've had in my life that have been so deep and so painful, you know, and then, um, when somebody goes through, a, a, a related experience, I can feel on such a deep level what they feel. And I've, it emphasizes it, it, uh, what do you call it? Multiplies, um, that feeling that I feel for them, the, it just, it well, big time. And, um, it makes you stronger, you know, in that sense as well. So that's kind of a, I guess, a perspective from my experience. Um, 
be in the four wonderful letters. And, you know, now I have wonderful um, pen and nation. I have a very good friend who's uh, INFP. I have another one who's ESTJ. I'm sure the other one is ESTP or J as well. Um, I have a lot of INFJ friends now. And it's the bomb.com. So go out there and look for them. Where are they? They're on Facebook. They're on forums. Um, there's a meetup here um, in Austin for INFJs, NFPs, I think. Uh, which is awesome because I've, I've not yet gone to it because um, they meet like Haley's Comet, it seems like, to me so far. So, But it exists at least, you know. Um, but anyways, the other thing that I noticed that happens, I need to cut this hurry up here, is that uh, I supernaturally, I call it supernaturally because it seems like I do run into people who are intuitive. And it seems like they're drawn, you know, to each other. Uh, and that's the thing why I like Myers-Briggs is because I can to a degree, you know, start to be able to discern um, if they process information the way I do. And so that's another appreciation that I have because it helps facilitate that mutual understanding um, that helps out with uh, with socializing. So, all right. Well, I want to wrap this up because this, this might be the record for me for a video, uh, but it was a big one. And I really appreciate, you know, who you are who suggested this. I really appreciate it big time. And uh, y'all are beautiful. If you want to like it, like it. If you have comments, uh, suggestions, feedback, I'm always open ears. So um, y'all uh, y'all holler at me, okay? And you know what? Yes, I do. I love you. <laughs>